And good evening everyone. More than 100 million bucks on the way to Western New York to transform one of the busiest roadways in the city of Buffalo. The goal is to dramatically improve mass transit, but also speed up commute times for everybody on Bailey Avenue. So U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer making the announcement today that Buffalo was selected to get $102 million in federal funding through the U.S. Department of Transportation's Neighborhood Access and Equity Program. Now, this is actually through the Inflation Reduction Act, and specifically, it will address the entire length of Bailey Avenue from South Park all the way up to Main Street. It is a seven and a half mile stretch, and the key here is a dedicated bus lane part of a bus rapid transit line in addition to other improvements. The road will be repaved in addition to the dedicated bus lane. There'll be better stops. There'll be pedestrian paths. It's going to be safer for everybody and it'll mean a quick commute. We've done one of these dedicated bus lanes in Albany, in the Albany area. We've done three of them and they're a huge success. The commute time is reduced greatly. Um, it's safer. And it's better for cars because the buses are in a separate lane so the cars don't get stuck behind the buses when they stop. So we heard a bit about this project late last month when the state pitched in a few million dollars. That's a drop in the bucket though of what is needed and it makes today's funding announcement so significant. Again, $102 million. And joining me live tonight is Common Council Member Brian Bowman. He represents the Lovejoy District, which is one of several that includes Bailey Avenue. Thanks for coming in. Hey, thanks for having me, Michael. So we've known that, that this work needed to happen to Bailey, right? Heard some of the specifics, but now to have 100 million bucks plus, let me just start with your reaction to the fact that this is, this is now, um, you know, on the process of happening as opposed to an idea. Yeah, it's truly a significant investment from our majority leader, Senator uh, Schumer and Kirsten Gillibrand. And, you know, this speaks to issues that residents in my community in the Lovejoy District have been uh, talking about for years and calling my office and, you know, giving their input about needed connectivity throughout the city of Buffalo. This is a major artery in the Lovejoy District across the city of Buffalo, connecting the community from north to south. And along with this goes uh, comes infrastructure improvements. So we're very excited to hear about it. Definitely interested to hear more as well and learn more about the project. Something that stood out to me, um, over a five-year period, there were 2,500 collisions on Bailey Avenue. Part of the work that's going to be happening here, as Senator Schumer said there, is making it safer mm -hmm. for people who are driving, people who are taking the bus, people who are walking, riding bicycles. Um, how big of a concern has Bailey Avenue been safety-wise over the years? Sure, that's a staggering number. I saw that as well. And uh, one of my few first few council member uh, meetings on the council, um, we had a lot of residents come in and speak to the issues on Bailey. I've been driving it my entire life, right? It's it's difficult. There's people passing you on every side. It's difficult at in, in intersections. So um, the investment in the repaving the infrastructure, the overall safety is extremely important. So we're excited to see those things get done as a part of this project. I got the chance to question Senator Schumer earlier today, and I asked him in light of, of 514 and the mass shooting that happened there, there's been so much focus on East Buffalo and, and bringing development. And government's role oftentimes is to do these big public projects, right? And then the private investment comes after that. Sure. What do you think is the potential here when you, I mean, maybe it sounds like just paving a roadway, but this is a lot bigger than that. How does this transform into economic development on the east side? Yeah, it's that thought process of if you build it, they will come, mm -hmm. right? We really, in my office, I've fought to uh, secure dollars and try to improve in the commercial corridors, right, with beautification projects and do things that would get prospective business owners to come and invest. Also, making it safer. That's, you know, someone's not going to invest unless you make the community safe. You have to make sure that those businesses will be there for the long haul and that they feel supported. So it's a significant investment, $100 million, and we will really want to see this come through fruition. I believe there will be public meetings as part of this, so we want the public's mm -hmm. input. Uh, we want to hear from business owners. We want to hear from the community residents, the bicycle pedestrian board. You know, they've always had a lot of input throughout the years, so we want to really do this right. It's the main part. Yeah, important right. to point out there are environmental reviews, there are design phases, so people will get to have input on that. I have about 30 seconds left um, because this isn't brand new today. Today we learned about $100 million, which is, is big, but this has been in the works for a while. What have you, have you heard positive reaction from people along Bailey? 
really just in general with this project? Yeah, positive reaction and also they're inquisitive of how will this all roll out. And so sure. I'd say very important that people are a part of the process, right? Whenever we're doing a, a public project, we want to hear from the residents so it's not just, you know, the project reflects the community as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, again, $102 million from the federal government on top of state funding and other sources uh, to help make this project happen. Councilmember Brian Bowman, thanks for coming in. Good hey, to see my you. My pleasure. Appreciate thanks, it. Michael.